Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Great Stack. In this video, we are going to create an AI image generator in React.js with the help of OpenAI API. As you can see on my computer screen, this is our AI image generator. Here is our input field and here we write our description for the image we want. This is generate button. When we click on this button, it will take around 15 seconds and generate our image. Let's test our app with this image description. Futuristic digital art of cityscape with drones, skyscrapers, and hover cars. So you can see it generate one image according to our description. This image is generated using AI. Now let's test it with another description. Here I will remove this text and I'm searching for futuristic digital art of a cityscape with tree and click on the generate button now it is generating our new image you can see the loading bar at the bottom of this image now you can see this image generator has displayed another image now let me search for another text in this input field i will add white tiger on the road and click on the generate button Again, it will take few seconds to generate our image according to the description that we are searching. So you can see it is displaying one white tiger image on the road. So we will create this AI image generator step by step using OpenAI API in React.js. So let's start this tutorial. Here I will create one folder with the name AI image generator. Now I will open this folder with the Visual Studio code. Here we will open the integrated terminal and in this terminal we will add the command npx create react app then dot so it will install the react project in this folder. It will take few seconds depending on your internet speed. After that we will type npm start to start our react app. So you can see it is running on our local browser. You can see the react logo. So this is the default react app. Next we have to clear this default project. So let's come back to the code file, come to the src folder and app.js. Here we will remove this div and here we will add one div just opening and closing div tag that's it. And here we will remove this import statement. Save these changes, come to the public folder and Click on index.html. Here we will update the title of our web page. Here I am adding AI image generator. Save these changes. Now close this file and we will come here in this src and here we will create one folder with the name components. In this components folder, we will create another folder with the name assets where we will add all the images. And again in this component folder, we will create another folder with the name image generator. In this image generator folder, we will create two files which is JSX file and CSS file. So let's create the first file image generator.jsx. Here we will create component with the RAFC. Now we have to create the CSS file. So we will create another file with the name image generator dot CSS. So this is the CSS file. Next we have to import the CSS file in this JSX file. So here we will add import and write the file path of the CSS file. Now we have to add this JSX file in the app.js. 
So let's come back to the app.js file and here within this div we will add the file name image generator. So you can see this file has been imported in line number 2. Close this. Now this image generator file will be displayed on our home page. Save these changes and come to the website and you can see this website is completely blank. We don't have any content here. Now we have to add the assets in our project. So click here on the assets. Select reveal in file explorer. Now you have to locate your file. Here we have the SVG file that I want to use on our web page. Just move this file in the project folder, then src components and assets folder. Now we have inserted the image file in the assets folder. Next we have to import this file to use on our web page. So come to the image generator.jsx file. Here we will add import and write any name. I will add default image from and write the file path of the image. So it is in the assets folder and then write the file name. After importing this image, now we will create the web page where we will add the image, we will add title and search box. So here in this div, we will add one class name. So let me add the class name AI image generator. Now within this div, I will create another div and here also we will add one class name. So the class name is header. Within this div, we will add the text AI image. Then we will add the span tag and within this span tag, we will add the generator. So we have the text on the web page. You can see AI image generator on the top left corner. Now let's come back. After this, we have to add the image. So first we will add one div. So let's add the div with the class name img loading. And within this div, let's add another div with the class name image. And in this one, we will add the image tag to load our image. So let's add the img tag. And in this src, we have to add the image. So we will add the default image that we have imported. Save these changes. Now you can see this image on the web page. Now we will add the CSS to design our web page. So let's take this class name AI image generator, write it here in the CSS file. Here we will add display, flex direction, margin, align items and margin from the top and margin from the bottom. Then we will add some gap of 30 pixel. Let's add the CSS for the header. For this header, we will add font size. Then we will add the font weight and let's add some space at the bottom. Now we will add the CSS for this span. So for this span, we have to change the color. So we will add dot header span. And here we will add the color code. So the text for the generator text will be different. We will change the font weight also. You can see this title looks good. Next we have to change the background color of the web page. So come back to the code file. Click here on index.css and here within this body we will add the background and write this color code. Then we will change the color that is white. You can see the background color has been updated. After that, we have to add the CSS for the image and the container of this image. So let's come back. Here we have the class name IMG loading. Write this class name here. And for this class, we will add display flex, flex direction column. Again write this class name and here we will add img. So for this main image we will add the width. It will be 512 pixel. 
after adding the size let's come back and here after this image we will add one input box and there will be one button so let's create one div and write the class name search box and within this search box there will be one input field and one button so let's add the input type will be text and we will add the class name so the class name is search input here we will add the placeholder also so let's add the placeholder text describe what you want to see so this is the placeholder text that will be displayed inside the input field after that we have to create one button so we will use the div and with this div we will add one class name so the class name is generate vdn and the text will be generate after adding this come back to the website here you can see one input field and one text generate now we have to add the css so let's come back and we will add the css for this search box write this class name here in this css file and for this search box we will add display display will be flex then we will add the width and height and justify content space around align items will be center and border radius of 50 pixel then we will change the background and after that you can see the changes in this input field now just come back and here we have the input so let's copy this class name search input write it here in this css file for this input tag i'm adding width and height then we are changing the background it will be transparent and border none outline none we are increasing the font size and changing the color then let's add the padding in the left side and margin in the right side so you can see the changes in this input field now we have to add the css for this placeholder so here we will add the same class name search input and placeholder for this placeholder text we will just update the color so i am adding one color code now we will add the css for the button just copy this class name generate vtn add it here in this css file for this button let's add display flex then align items and justify content we will add the width of 300 pixel and height of 85 pixel here we will change the font size 20 pixel and we will add the border radius of 50 pixel so that the corners will be round then background will be this color code and cursor pointer so you can see this button looks good so finally we have designed this input field with button next we have to add the functionality to generate the image so come back to the code file within this component i will create one user state so let's add const image url and set image url is equal to user state so you can see the user state has been imported in this line one and within this user state i'll add double quote slash so our variable name is image url and the function name is set image underscore url and initializing the user state with slash now we will create use ref to reference the element of the web page so here i am adding let input ref is equal to use ref you can see the use ref has been imported here in this line one and in this use ref we will add null we have to refer the input field that's why i have added the name input ref now we will use this user state to update the image of our web page so scroll down and here in this img we have the fixed src so here we will remove it and add the ternary operator here i am adding image underscore url is equal to slash if this condition is true then we will display the default image and if this condition is false we will display image url and this image url will come from the api next we have to access this input field 
So in this input field, I am adding ref input ref. Now we have to create one function that will be executed when we will click on the generate button. So here I am creating one asynchronous add function. Within this function, first we will check the condition if input ref dot current dot value is equal to this double quote. If the value is empty, then it will return zero. Suppose we have not added any text in the input field, then it will return zero. After that, I will write the code to fetch the data from the API. So I am adding const response is equal to await fetch. And in this fetch, we will add the API link. To get the API link, open Google and search for open AI API. Open the first link. Here you have to create an account. I already have the account, so I will log in. Then click on API. Click on this personal, then click on view API keys. Here you have the button create new secret key. Just click on this button and type any name. I am adding AI image generator. Then click on this button create secret key. Just copy this secret code and keep it on your computer because it won't be visible again. So I will keep this key here in this notepad. Then click on this billing. You just have to set up the payment method to get the free credit to use the API. After that, click here on the uses. Here you can see the available limits to use the API for free. Now let's click on the documentation. Scroll down. Here I will click on image generation. Here you can see the API URL. Just copy this one. Come back to the code file and add it here within the code. Let's add one comma and with this API URL, we have to add method post headers content type application JSON. Then authorization in this authorization, we have to add bearer, then API key. Just paste your API key here. Then user agent Chrome. I'm simply adding my API key here in this file. But if you want to upload your project on GitHub or any other platform, then I will recommend you to create the environment variable and add your API key in the environment variable to keep it secure. After that, we will add the body json.stringify. In this one, we will add the prompt input ref dot current dot values so it will give the text written in the input field then i'm adding n is equal to one because we want only one image then i'm adding size 512 pixel into 512 pixel because we want the image in this size just add one comma here and one semicolon here next we have to execute this function when we will click on this button so let's come to this button and here we will add on click Let's create one add function here. Within this add function, we will call this function image generator. Now, when we will click on this button, it will execute this image generator function. Now, we will pass the response data using JSON method in data variable. Now, let's see what is stored in this data variable. Let's add console.log data. And now we will come back to the web page. Here in this input field, let's add any text. Let me search for cat with apple and click on this generate button. Nothing happened. So let's inspect this web page and come to console. Here you can see one object. In this object, we have the data. And in this data, you can see URL and in this URL, we have the link for the image. Let's open this link in the new tabs. 
so let me add this link in new tab and you can see one cat image with apple so we are getting the image from the api next we have to display this image on our web page so let's come back and remove this console.log and here we will add let data array is equal to data dot data because we have one data array in the api response then i'm adding set image url and image url will be data array index 0 dot url so this is the url that we are getting from the api after setting the image url let's come back to the web page and let me search the same text again just i will click on the generate button and it will take few seconds to generate the image and display on our web page so you can see another image on the web page now let me change the text i'll add another text i'm adding fish inside water and click on the generate button now it is displaying another image for the description that we are searching the api takes time to create the image so we have to create one loading bar that will be displayed until the image gets generated so we have to display this loading bar after this image so let's add the div class name loading and within this div we'll create another div with the class name loading bar and we have to add one loading text also so we'll add another div with the class name loading text and in this one we will add the text loading next we have to add the css before that let's come back to the web page you can see this loading text just below this image now just come back and we will add the css for this loading bar just copy this class name add it here in this css file here we will add the width height and background you can see one colored line at the bottom of this image now let's come back and here we will add the css for the loading text we will add the class name loading text and here we will just increase the font size i will add font size 18 pixel now this text size is good this loading bar is always displayed so we have to hide this it will be displayed when we are generating a new image so let's come back and in this width we will make it zero so this loading bar will be hidden by default you can see that loading bar is hidden now just come back to the jsx file and here we will create another user state user state variable name is loading and the function name is set loading and the user state default value is false with the help of this user state we will update the class name of the loading bar and loading text so here in this loading bar we will add the class name with the help of ternary operator if loading is true it will add the class name loading bar full if it is false it will add the class name loading bar only now we will add the same thing in the loading text here also we will add ternary operator so if the loading is true it will add the class name loading text else it will add another class name display none next we have to add the css for the display none and loading var full so let's copy this class name loading var full and come back to the css file in this one we will add the css that is here in the loading var and we will increase the width it will be 512 pixel and we will add the transition also here i am adding transition 15 seconds so the loading var will display the loading animation then we will add the css for display none here we will add the display none that's it after that come back to the jsx file here we will set the loading true 
and after displaying the image the set loading will be false when it is false it will hide the loading animation it will hide the loading text after that come back to the website and here let's search for the new image i will add white tiger in the zoo then click on generate button you can see the loading bar at the bottom of this image and here it is displaying the white tiger in the zoo so this ai image generator is working fine and this loading animation is also working fine let me search tiger on mountain then click on generate button you can see this loading bar and after that it will display one tiger image on the mountain so you can see this ai image generator is working fine try this amazing ai project by your own this will add a great value in your portfolio if you get any issue you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel great stack to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video